Welcome to our tutorial, guys. Salseros y salseras. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna teach you two exercises that you can use at home or in the dance studio to improve your turning. It's especially for guys, but girls, feel free to also join the tutorial. We're gonna start right away. Follow me, guys. So, we're gonna start like this. The first exercise, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use our upper body, our upper body, to do this exercise first. Let's do that. So basically, you put your hands in front of your chest, and you're gonna keep turning your upper body only. Keep your lower body in place. Don't turn also the lower body, but only your upper body, guys. So like this, you're gonna turn, prep, turn, turn. Just the upper body. Don't be tensed, guys. Don't put a lot of power in your hands. It's not necessary. <clears throat> Just relax and turn your upper body from left to right, don't move your weight like this. It's just a rotation, it's just a rotation. We're gonna do this by standing on our right leg and the left feet, I'm gonna put it like this, guys. If you take a look, I'm standing with my weight on my right leg and I put my left feet like this. I'm gonna do only this movement. I'm touching the ground with my left feet just to help me with the balance because I'm going to rotate now, but I don't use, I don't push into the ground to help me. I just stay on my right leg like this. And what we're going to do is after the prep, when you're in the left position, you're going to turn and you're going to lift your left feet from the ground. So I lift my left feet from the ground so I can go only on my right leg. So like this and I lift my left feet from the ground. What I want to do is initialize the turn only from upper body. So I'm not going to push myself out of the turn. I just want to have this rotation to help me turning. Just the rotation. So I'm standing over here. I put my left feet a little bit like this. I rotate one, two, and the third time I release my left feet from the ground so I can make a little bit turn. When I'm standing on my right leg, I have my whole weight on my full feet. But when I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna lift my ankles from the ground so I can turn. Otherwise you will have this, guys, and you have a lot of friction on the ground. We don't want that. We want to have less friction possible. So you lift your ankles from the ground when you're turning. So I have first one, two, and make the turn. Now, if you have dancing shoes, you should be able to make almost one turn, and maybe even more, maybe a little bit less. The key is to practice a lot. That's the whole key, the whole idea about the exercise. Practice as much as you can. If you have dance sneakers or just sneakers, maybe you will have to turn less, but it's okay. It's only about the technique right now, not about how far you come. My preference is that you, even if you turn half turn only, that you stay in control so that this happens. You stay in control instead of this happening. Because in this case, you're pulling your balance out. You're taking yourself out of your line. So I have now my weight on the right leg. I keep it over here. I just rotate around that point. So I don't go over here and rotate out of the point. No, I have this line starting from the ground going up i do this and i rotate into the line okay so we do this exercise for left and for right let's do it a few times for left <clears throat> so extend your left leg make one two and make the rotation three try to really bring the rotation from your upper body movement so what i'm doing is essentially as soon as i go into the turn I use my abs to contract, to, to power my, my core. My core has to be powered up so I can go into the turn with a firm core. I don't power up my upper body because then you will have this turn. You can see everything is tense over here. When it's tense in your upper body, you're not gonna be flexible enough to turn. You want to have only your core powered up and your upper body should be relaxed. So the turn goes smooth as possible. All right, let's do it. One time right and one time left. And you make prep, two and 
three, and boom. Left side, one, two, and turn. Guys, do this exercise every day if you have to, maybe two, three times a day. If you get dizzy, take a break. It's very important that you don't practice when you're dizzy because you might fall and injure yourself, but also you're not helping yourself if you're dizzy anymore. You have to really be, let's say, on dizzy so you can practice this exercise. Guys, that was exercise number one. Very important. Number two now, for you. We're gonna do this. Put your hands now in your pockets, guys. This is one of my exercises. You put your hands in the pocket and you stand with your weight again on the right leg. What we're gonna do now is, instead of putting our feet like this, I put it over here. I don't go too much, just a little bit. I don't have to do it too much now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push myself away with my feet, like this, push. Just push a little bit now, try it for yourself. Don't use your upper body. Just push, just push. You can see if I push myself a little bit more, I get a little bit more speed. The push happens in the rotation. So if you see from top, you will get this. You push yourself in the rotation. I don't push myself out. This happens a lot when people try to uh, spin. You're gonna do this with your upper body. You're gonna turn and push yourself out. I want to push myself in the rotation. So let's say my leg is glued to the ground. If I do this now, you would have the push in the rotation and not out of the rotation. Very important because otherwise you will break your balance and then you're not gonna get your turns as you would want to. So let's do it again. Stand on your right leg. Just put this a little bit like this, only on the ball point of the feet and push yourself into the rotation, into the rotation. Do it a few times. You can try to make like one turn, half turn. It doesn't matter how far you come, as, as long as you stay balanced. Exercise number one has the same principles. If you stay balanced, then you're doing it good. Exercise number two is the same thing. Don't push yourself out of balance. Now we had exercise number one and number two. We're gonna combine these two exercises and you're gonna see a big difference in your spinning. You stand on the right leg, you put your feet like this, you're standing also, you have the ball point like this. You can do the preparations, one, two, and after three, you're not only gonna use your upper body, but you're also gonna make the push into the rotation. You do this together at exactly the same time. And one, two, and push into the turn, boom. One more time. And one, two, and push and stop. Let's go the other way around. Five, six, seven, one, two, and push into the rotation. One more time. And one, two, push into the rotation, boom. So if you do these two exercises at the same time, so you have the upper body push with your, with your leg in the same time, you're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of starting speed to initialize your, your turns with. And this is exactly what we need if you're gonna turns, make more turns or turn more clean. So you need to do these two at the same time. If I don't do that, let's say I'm gonna start first my upper body, then the lower body, you will get this one. It's not gonna be the same, or you do the lower body and then upper body, it doesn't work. You will also feel there's nothing, there's nothing together there. You have to really be at the same time, push away, but stay in control. Keep your weight on one spot. Use your core, guys, to make the turn over here. Push and make the turn over here. And push and boom, right? So, guys, do this exercise every day, twice a day. You will notice a big difference when you're gonna spin when you're dancing socially, salsa, or even bachata, or whatever. If you practice this every day, you're gonna notice big improvement in your salsa dancing <clears throat> in general. Thank you for joining, guys. You can always come back to this video and look for the tips that I just gave you. Look back on, on, the, on the exercises. If you have any questions or suggest, suggestions, just drop them below in the comment box. Don't forget, forget to subscribe to our channel, and this way you will stay up to date with all our new content that's coming up 
to help you improve your salsa dancing on the floor. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good time. Thank you.